Hello and welcome to another episode of Microwave Me. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been looking forward to to the beginning almost as much as the light bulb, if not possibly more. Tin foil. Everybody knows what tin foil does in the microwave, so I'm going to show you what happens when you not just leave the tin foil on something, but you do straight tin foil. And here is, as always, the lovely Renee. She is looking lovely today. Absolutely dazzling, and she's going to be even more brilliant and dazzling when she's cooking tin foil. This experiment, I'm going to do it with the plate in. Now, we've seen what happens when you microwave a flat sheet of tin foil and the way two balls of it arc back and forth. Well, I'm going to do both and I'm going to let you, the viewers, decide which one you prefer. Okay, let's flatten that foil up. Let's close her up. Okay, the tin foil with the plate in didn't do diddly squat. I edited that out, but don't worry, you didn't miss a thing except two boring minutes of nothing happening. Let's try again. Okay, now I've done it the Kenny Irwin way. Let 
Now let's do it the Jonathan Paula and Jory Karen way. Same time, same location. Okay, the tin foil's done, and hopefully Renee's not done. Time to remove the product. And just in case you're wondering if it's safe to microwave tin foil, well, you saw what it did in the microwave. It was sparking and just sparks were flying everywhere. It was lighting up like the 4th of July. I mean, that was really cool to see, but you don't want to do it at home. It'll totally wreck your microwave. And you'll be down some tin foil. So this is a bad idea, possibly the best bad idea on the show so far. If you do happen to do it, do it in an old microwave that you are not going to be using to cook food in, like Renee over here. <laughs>